December 16th and yeah look what just came in the mail so it's always fun for the kids to do this I remember one of the other kids did this some years ago um, let's see Bush was in office so yeah but anywho um, they usually get a picture and a and a letter and um, it's just nice to know that they can um, they can write and they get a response back because you think I write the White House and the president and he must get millions and millions and millions of uh, mail and of course he's not going to respond um, I mean they know better but it's still fun I mean it was fun to receive the first package and um, the little ones will definitely probably do the same thing <clears throat> but um, yeah uh, of course I cannot open this but um, yeah <laughs> Not mine to open. So, anywho, just thought I would share. Bye. Don't show that part. Open it. I don't let the opener would help. It'll be okay. Turn the envelope over. Turn the envelope over. So I got the letter. What does it say? It says, Javen Williams from um, San Antonio, Texas. Thank you for writing. Scientific advances, technological discoveries, and medical breakthroughs have always been hallmarks of American progress, and I am glad you took the time to share your thoughts with me. As a nation, we must spark a spirit of innovation and curiosity so more kids like you can uncover solutions to problems wait a minute <laughs> uncover solutions to problems and push the boundaries of possibility my administration is committed to providing students with every level level of skills they need to excel in the fields of science technology engineering and math also known as stem as a part of this effort i launched the quote unquote educate to innovate campaign in initiative I forgot initiative that aims to move students from middle to top of the pack in science and science and math achievement to open the doors of opportunity for more students to engage in STEM fields Many schools are expanding access to computer science. We are working to prepare and support teachers so young people can get in the world class and world class education um, educational experience they deserve. I am committing to ensuring students, ensuring all students, no matter who they are or where they are from, they have access to hands-on STEM education that will help them realize their greatest aspirations. Young people like you have a large role to play in shaping the future of progress and exploration. I'm I'm counting on you and your generation to speak up on issues you think are important because you know firsthand what's working inside your communities and your classrooms. America's success will depend on your ideas, imagination, and willingness to become unto Dream Bay and um, there are can um, their cancer exploring <laughs> I'm reading too far up. So there mm -hmm. are still plenty of mysteries left to solve. So whether you are tackling climate change, carrying cancer, exploring space or technology to improve people's lives <coughs> you know and I know you are sharing in the drive for discovery. And that has always guided America forward. Thank you 
much for writing. And again, thank you for writing. Remember to study hard and give you give your best in all you do. Young people like you give me great hope for the future. Sincerely, and sincerely. Mm, you see the picture? <laughs> yeah. The pictures. Jasmine did it. Hold on, go back. She got pictures from Bush. What is that? It's like, um, explore the White House through the arts. Open it. How's this open? Oh, it, uh, it's, it's a folder it. thing. Turn around, let me see. Open it. <laughs> oh, you're like, ooh, like that. I'm still reading it, Mom. Okay. So these are things that are displayed. Pictures. Turn around. Mm -hmm. Let me see the rest of it. Interview with the president. So these are most common questions it's the that he gets. What is your favorite book when he was a child where the wild things are? Sasha Malia love Harry Potter. Some of his favorite authors are Ralph Waldo Emerson, Mark Twain, E.L. Dotro, and William Shakespeare. The best friend is his wife. It's got Sonny and Bo. He said he gets... Being the president is very exciting, but a lot of work like any job. There are times when you get tired and frustrated, but every day you have the ability to help others. That makes the challenges worthwhile. Hold on. Sonny and Bo. He does get nervous in front of crowds. There are no off days when leading the nation. His heroes, President Abraham Lincoln, Dr. Martin Luther King. He's inspired by each, inspired each day by the women who serve, women and men who served in the armed forces. His favorite subject is history. Math, science are also very exciting. Let's see. Sports, of course, basketball, soccer, exercise is important. He encourages all. What can kids do to make our country better? I encourage all students to dream big dreams, set goals, put forth their best effort into doing everything. Goals can be as simple as doing homework, paying attention in class, or spending each time spending time each day reading a book maybe you'll choose to get involved in an extracurricular activity or volunteer in your community maybe you'll decide to stand up for kids that are being teased or bullied whatever you resolve to do I want you to commit at it and work hard I expect great things from your generation and what else is back here a look inside so it gives you a look inside the White House. What is a uh, garden? It's got the garden stuff. Let me see. It falls on the floor a lot. Mm -hmm. Which means it's very, very intact. It's, well, resisting. Mm, this is cute. It doesn't have very much friction. White House kitchen and garden. Some little activities. So. so, what do you think? Did you expect to get an answer? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Took a while. Well, not really. It was only a couple of weeks. It's about four weeks. That's a while for me. Actually, three. Well, yeah. Three. So, what do you think about what he said? Interesting. There's still some things I want to know. But those things cannot be answered in letters. And so, his expectations are for the kids of this generation to pretty much change everything. 
How is he different compared to former presidents? Well, not just not just the fact that he's inspiring, but the fact that he actually has a brain. And most of these former presidents weren't very bright. <laughs> hmm. And so what do you think about his family? They're pretty cool. He has two dogs. Do you think they're more uh, involved? Yeah. yeah. Than the other ones. Yeah. The rest of the families? Yeah. They're more influential? Yeah. But then they're normal just like other kids. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Thank you for watching the visit, this video. Subscribe. And thank you to who? Thank you to President Obama.